Hello friends, welcome back and I'm your friend Farah Sheikh. Well in today's Excel video, I'll be showing that how can we grab all the sheet names in the workbook. And we are going to write a small VBA code in the Excel for Mac. So my friends, those who are using Windows version of Excel, don't worry, you can use the same code and it will work seamlessly. So let's go and grab the code from my website. If you go to my website, I'll be sharing the link in the below video description. You can go to this blog and you can just simply hit this copy button. Once you hit the copy button, the code will get copy. Go back to your workbook, go to the developer tab. In case if your developer tab is not activated, right click, customize and you can activate the developer tab for the windows. For the Mac users, you have to go to Excel, preferences and go to the ribbon toolbar and make sure that this is checked. If it's unchecked, make sure that you check it and hit the save button. So let's close it and go to the Visual Basic Editor. Now we need to add the module in this one. So you can simply go and add the module, go insert, insert the module. Even you can add the module to the project window. Just right click and insert the module. And we are going to paste that VBA code. This is a magical code. So let me just quickly reshape this window so we can see what is happening behind the scenes when we are running the code. Great, so things are set up over here now and I'm just going to add the breakpoint so we can see step by step what is going on. So here I have declared two variables, worksheet as WS and I as an integer, which we are going to use it in our code. So let's play the code. So once we play the code, the macro is active now. Now to debug for the Mac users, you have to press command shift I. And for the windows, you simply press F8. So command shift I, so that will move it to the next step. Now, if you have noticed below my friends, I was having only six sheets. And now there's a new sheet that I added with this, with the command line of sheets.add. Now we have the next line which says that active sheet name equals to sheet name. So we are going to rename the active sheet. So we press command shift I and that's changed our sheet name. So we have to make sure that the sheet always remains the first sheet in the workbook. So we are just going to use the active sheet dot move and that will be before the worksheet one. So in this case, our worksheet one is sheet one. So let's move that and it has moved before the sheet one. Now this has become the sheet one. Now we are going to declare that variable I equals to one. So we have to use it in the loop now. Now this loop for each worksheet in the worksheets. So this will check all number of sheets and it will run the loop that many numbers of times. So now with this command active sheet dot cell one comma one. So the one is our variable which is we have declared it. So I equals to one comma one now. So it will go to the row one column one and grab that sheet name which is there. Now if you see we got that sheet name and now we are going to increment that variable by one. And now what we have is going to the next worksheet. So again, the same loop, the active worksheet dot cell I that is second row and the first column and grab that worksheet name that is sheet one. Let's go again. And this is working cool now. So let me play the record. And we have grabbed all our sheet names. That's wonderful. I'll just remove the breakpoint from here and let's close it. So this is how you can grab all your sheet name. Let's assume that you have got some new sheet names over here and you want to get it updated. Now just simply delete this sheet and delete it. And you can modify the code as you like it. If you are frequently updating the sheets, then you need to modify the code. So you don't need to do this manual task. Go to macros, select the macro name, get sheet names and just simply hit run and we got all the sheet names over here so when you save this file make sure that you save it as a macro enable workbook just go to file save we can give a nice name get sheet names and make sure that you select the format as macro enable and hit the save button so the code will always be available 
in this file. And I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section what you like about the video and what you like to see in the future videos. So I'll be seeing you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.